Dungeons and Daddies is a rowdy, horny, violent podcast for grown-ups. Content warnings can be found in the episode description. The syringe is in my hand. I am showing it to four new employees, teaching them how to extract memories to make delicious pizza toppings. In two minutes, the syringe falls from my grasp as I push one of the teens into an oven for blaspheming against the papa. In ten minutes, the syringe plunges into my skull and my memory of the last ten minutes is extracted from my mind. It is forty years ago. I am four years old. My father, a watchmaker, tells me that Papa John's army is invading our village. I hear their trumpets blaring. In fear, I shit my pants. It is ten years ago. I am four years old. My father, a vegan, sings as a mariachi band plays Feliz Cumpleaños. I hear their trumpets blaring. I shit my pants again. In Papa John's kitchen, I am extracting a memory from the teenage boy I shoved into the oven. In the syringe, I see him shitting his pants as a mariachi band plays. It is thirty years ago. I am fourteen years old, kneeling before the papa. His ceremonial breadstick touches my shoulder, and I ascend to the rank of shift manager. I hear the trumpets blaring. In Papa John's kitchen, four teens shove a wad of pizza dough down my throat. I am forty-four years old and still a shift manager. In two minutes, the pizza dough flies from my blocked airway, and for the first time since the papa's army took my father away, I feel joy. In four minutes, the memory of this joy is squirted onto a pizza for an old woman who will immediately die after eating it. I am tired of this earth, these people. I am tired of making pizza toppings out of the tangle of their minds. In Papa John's kitchen, I watch one of these teens extract a final memory from the dead woman. It's a memory of the future. In the syringe, I see the doodler annihilated by an exploding star. I see the earth consumed by flame, black into ash, like an epic pepperoni stuffed crust left too long in the oven. The trumpets are silent, and for the first time since the Papa's army took my father away, I feel joy. Welcome to Dungeons and Daddies, not a BDSM podcast, a podcast that tells the story of four teens sent into another world, our world originally, and now they got to fix it. Or do they? Or do they? A question on everyone's mind. You got to save or our dads. Or will they die trying? You don't that have was dark. to save your dad. Legally, you do not have <laughs> to. Legally, you don't have to. You're not bound <laughs> by true. that. My name is Freddie Wong. I play Taylor Swift, the tiefling ranger of the group. See, what? <laughs> what? I mean, in terms of the classification thing. Yeah. He's just throwing this <laughs> He was a rogue last week. Now he's a dragon. Never been What's a rogue. going on? He's never been a rogue. Okay, I said it wrong once. Okay, he's a ranger. This week's Taylor fact <laughs> on the subject of pizza delivery. Mm-hmm. Taylor did take his Roland Cole bike and he did use it as a pizza delivery vehicle. He signed up, which is, by the way, against the rules, but he did sign up for like Postmates to be a driver. And then he did it for a couple of days and he was like, I'm good. I have a question for you about Taylor yeah. is that we learned last week that Taylor doesn't know what a job is. He knows what <laughs> jobs are, but he just doesn't think anyone does them. Because he didn't do his pizza Because he job. didn't do his pizza I don't. I still don't understand how this works, but you say it with such confidence that I believe you. What was the context for last week? He was remember? just like, what's a job? You <laughs> like, he, was like his mo- he thought oh, the only job was being a voice actress. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything else is a hobby you get paid for. Interesting. Oh. Okay. Interesting. In his mind, everyone who works as a service job does it because of a love for wanting they to like interact it. with their people. Hobby. Or it's like, they're like, this is what I do on the side while I'm trying to get my anime voice acting job started. Yeah, which is a job. Interesting. Creating <laughs> Japanese animation it's the only true job yeah, yeah or 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 designing the figurines the little like vinyl figurines right yeah okay, okay. yeah all well, right i'll accept your explanation and this is also the reason why he was so awkward around hero oak because he was like she took my hobby he wasn't even awkward <laughs> around it he just didn't fight he was like whatever like he you can't even you can't even retcon it into there was some sort of fun chemistry i put a girl in front of you for you to have a crush on and you were like i don't know what's going on <laughs> just like teen freddy yeah <laughs> true to yourself Hi, everybody. My name is Matthew Arnold. I play Lincoln Lee Wilson, uh, the schooled at home soccer kid who's a protective paladin of the group. Um, I figured my fact would also be a pizza fact since we yeah, seem to be. Yeah, dude. Nice. Love it. Thematically yeah, appropriate. I wasn't going to do pizza facts, but then like we've been on pizza for about three episodes. So it seems about time <laughs> to talk about pizza. Just a really simple Link's favorite pizza mm-hmm. is whatever pizza he gets after a soccer game. It doesn't really matter wow. what it is, whatever. Wow. The reason it doesn't matter what pizza is because his favorite pizza is specifically the pizza after he's picked off all the toppings. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so he just has like a always vague... like, do you want cheese? Like, no, 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 get the supreme. And he likes to pick off all the toppings. That's just part of so the whole process. He likes that process. He likes that process. Does he dab, I think it tastes a little different. Does he dab the thing with the napkin to no, get the get napkin all, grease all greasy? There. Whatever and... grease is, that's, that's how God Yo, made it. Yo, that's what I'm saying, dude. My mom used to get on my ass for that, dude. We get the pizza from Costco and she'd be like, you can't eat it until I dab it with this paper towel. I'm like, mom, 
Yeah. Just let me have the grease. Let me yeah, have stop. this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have one good why thing. Am I removing, why am I doing makeup removal on this pizza before <laughs> I eat it? Like, let me eat this pizza. This is the way God intended. <laughs> this Steve pizza's Jobs. beautiful the way it is. I'm about pizza positivity. <laughs> this is the way they designed it. Steve Jobs didn't design the iPhone to have a big fucking case on it. <laughs> I thought you were going to be like, Steve Jobs didn't design pizza to be taken <laughs> Steve away. Steve Jobs designed pizza. Pizza's really the original click wheel, if you think about it. <laughs> The wheel of death. Um, hey everyone, I'm Will Campos, click wheel enthusiast uh, <laughs> and actor who plays the character Normal Oak on this podcast, Dungeons and Dragons. Normal this is this podcast, a- Dungeons and Dragons. Shut the fuck up, Freddy. We've done so many episodes. I can't. I can't be. I, I. I'm gonna just statistically. I'm gonna say the name of the podcast wrong every once in a while. I'm just getting in the way, just in case them lawyers, them legal um, eagles, play, are sitting listening. I play the character Strider on the podcast, Dungeons and Dragons. Normal is a mixed up mascot kid who doesn't know who he is anymore normal fact about normal this week is normal's never had a pet his family considers that like the pet can't consent to being owned so like they don't own pets okay. but he has befriended a raccoon that lives outside the school oh. by stealing lunch meats from the cafeteria um, which his uncle lark says is praxis <laughs> so he's able to throw lunch meat to a raccoon and he's befriended a little raccoon family oh what's his name the animal can't consent to being named so oh, but does the animal have Provided their name the, to the you. The animal's name is. <laughs> okay, that's what, that, oh yeah, voice it's, of it's God that here. plus a combination of raccoon pheromones is how the oh, is how the raccoon good. identifies itself to other raccoons. Wow. So he's domesticated. Well, that's very bad. It's not domesticated at all. Yeah. I think yeah. actually Normal's probably been bit a lot by this thing, and it's just probably a real matter rabies. of. Yeah. He's got a role for rabies. Do I have to do a disease no, role because right if now? you no 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 because if you have rabies, it's you're dead. You're it's dead. Too late. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you got to get a shot immediately. Do we find out that there's like super rare? Like there's like one guy who got rabies. Unless it's changed, there's been two people, I believe, again, when I had the manic episode where I thought I had rabies, I researched this a lot. I believe there are two people. There's an experimental thing where you like stasis them, like freeze their body mm-hmm. to kill it, and then maybe they can survive being frozen to there's death. One person, one person. And then one person without any Gianna GC. Yeah, without any sort of like thing at all. Like no treatment. She just survived. Well, that's two. Normal's immune to rabies. She's like, I am. He's a woman. number two. He's number two. Yeah. Yeah. But he doesn't know it. That's Shit. the thing. He doesn't even <laughs> that's realize. That's a gnarly it. fact. Next, <laughs> next fact: Lincoln Lee Wilson survived rabies. <laughs> Hi, my name's Beth May, and I play Scary Marlowe, <gasps> a goth punk seeker of darkness <gasps> who is not like the other girls. Girls. Oh. 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 Um, fun fact. I remember when this podcast was good. <laughs> it was so long it's ago. It's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> Work related fact about Scary this week is that Scary's only other part time job was a mere few months ago where she worked for a VHS and CD store. Once uh, CDs and VHSs had their resurgence in the 2050s. Oh, oh cool. Kind yeah. of like vinyls now. Yeah. And she was fired immediately because she was more preoccupied with the Spotify playlist in the store than actually helping Uh, customers. So now do they like do like special pressings of like modern movies in the 20s, 50s? Sure. I think that there's like a special VHS copy of We're Back, a dinosaur story. (laughs) (laughs) Obviously, all the propaganda movies, Fly Away Home, Goofy Movie. Yeah. Taken. 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 All all 16 Taken movies, the Taken Set trilogy. Taken, a Goofy movie. (laughs) Slave movie. (laughs) I have a particular set of skills. Skills. I'm Anthony Birch. I'm your dad. Hey, dad. So around this time, I would have sprung another big akin to the tattoo surprise on all of you. What? Uh, What? I would have. I didn't. Uh, Basically, I spent two months in a massage therapy school. I was going to be a certified massage therapist by around now. But the first two months of that are online learning. Tragically, the very first class I took literally <laughs> included the phrase, the mitochondria is the power or supply of the sun. <laughs> no way, really? I was like, I thought I was free of this. <laughs> yeah, I was going to stick with it. It was going to be two months of online stuff, which I did, and then two months of in-studio training and then two months of clinic training. But after the two months of online training, it turns out a lot of the people who teach massage don't believe in vaccines. <laughs> mm. I was like, oh, well, I'm going to be a massage person because a lot of people in my life have like chronic pain and I wanted to like help with that. 
But the fucking very first class was like, the first thing you need to know about me, he sounded like David Lynch. First thing you need to know about me is I invented the elbow bump. And he was not saying that as a joke. He thought he came up with the idea of like elbow shaking hands during COVID. <laughs> okay. What? He literally took credit for that. And then he was like, the second thing you need to know is that you are here because there is a, a desperate hunger amongst the population for medicine free health care. And that is oh. what you are. <laughs> Effectively, doctors is what you're doing by touching no people. Way. And I was like, oh no. <laughs> but who cares? Just get good at massage. Yeah, who cares yeah, I, know, I, know. I, I didn't care Give until it, around the time that I was going to have to go in. All the COVID cases spiked in LA. And yeah. I was like, if there's anybody that is not fucking vaccinated, oh, it true. is these fucking people. <laughs> what is with your incredibly good, pure intentions and you running into just insane idiots? Uh, uh, life. Ah. So when we last left the group of kids, you had... Basically just had a normal day at, uh, <laughs> at Papa John's. Working at Papa John's. Stabbing yeah. people in the you head. You stabbed your shift manager, Risky Click in the head, took some memories from him to make a delicious pizza that you served to Tilt Tilburon, which then killed her via heart attack. As she died, you... Damn, life comes at you fast. <laughs> yeah. you, you took a uh, memory from her head, but because she can see in four dimensions, it was sort of a premonition of a possible future. Can you remind me of the prophecy that yes, we saw? Yes, yes. So it feels like that's where, that's where we're right where we're coming off of, right? This yeah, is our. Yeah, yeah. I believe Scary saw the. I think vision. Scary's oh, yeah, the one who pulled yeah, yeah. it okay. out. Uh, it is up to Scary whether or not she tells you about it. But yes, oh. the idea that is that when you are searching for a memory in somebody, you can sort of ask a question psychically, and then that'll make it easier for you to find that thing. So Scary wanted to know how do we defeat the doodler, and the memory that you found showed you basically a sun exploding in this world, incinerating the doodler and everybody else in this world while you and the other dads and your friends stood on the other side of the portal where you came from, the Forgotten Realms. So we destroy this world yes. in this process. Yeah. Yes. Everything in this world, including the doodler, can get Which destroyed. Which so far the only people we've met are horrible people. So. Yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah, that's true. Do you want to just start having seen that memory and you tell everybody about it? Or sure. we can also jump to your shift review. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, guys, before we get to our shift review. Um, oh, like shit review, am I right? Yeah, fuck yeah, <laughs> Link, hell yeah. Right. Shit review. Okay, anyways. So there's basically no way to defeat the doodler, which I feel like is pretty freeing, actually. I feel like, oh, I, you no. know, I feel kind of liberated by this knowledge. What like, you know, what, what did you see? Did you see? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I saw like this big sun thing explode and it was our fault or to our credit, I guess, maybe. And then so we were alive and our dads were alive, Holy, all right. but everybody else was dead. And so normally I'd be like, that's pretty metal, but like, I don't know, even I have limits. And so there's just a, a lot of chaos that happens if we defeat the doodler. And so I guess we don't need to do it, which is great. Well, Interesting. But, but we've got our dads back. Yeah. So but, if we got our dads back and we destroy the doodler, it blows up this world. I mean, it seems like that was one possible yeah. way it could shake out That's you true. know so maybe like we can do it different yeah we do it different right we do it our own way yeah, where that so doesn't we happen save the people on earth and then whatever happens to our dads happens and then we well, get off like unscathed uh, at the very least we know our dads are alive if that prophecy is true then that means our dads are alive because for that to even be possible for that prophecy to be possible our dads must still be alive oh, that's, that's a good for point. now yeah that's, good. that's true I'm yeah that's true about that. yeah. Very, very important question was i in this vision and how cool did i look you're in this vision. Nice. I'd say you'd look like uh, eight, eight out of ten. Cool. Oh, that's. Oh. What do you think you look Hermie, like, that's right like now? Though? What am I at right now? You're at a two out of ten. Two cool. out of ten. Hermy, I uh, want to say the opinion. Hermy, let me see if I agree with that or not. That's <laughs> right. It's two faced off. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, I gotta say. Uh, for me, for me, for me, from Hermy, mm. your friend. Yeah. Twelve easily. Oh. Wow. But there's no accounting for taste. Am I right? That average is to yeah, seven. Right. So I'm slightly cooler than I am now. Okay. Interesting. Good to know. I'm gonna file that away. Thanks, Hermy. Hey, no problem. It's scary. Does that uh, average out? Maybe rethink those standards. Maybe rethink your life. Oh, oh okay. Well, that's know. all. You should flip a coin to see if he does it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, flip again. Dude, imagine if Two Face and the Bad Movies had to go to flipacoin.com on this. Uh, phone. So we got tails. So he goes like, No, I don't think I will. I think Hermie's perfect just as he is. Yeah. Yeah. Hermie's so cool now. <laughs> Nothing more cool than being secure in who you are, am I right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> looks like a lot of people can't. <laughs> it looks like I'm surrounded by a lot of people who cannot relate I to I don't that. know that's what that I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you will. As you are jabber jawing, risky <laughs> click, your shift manager comes up and goes, This is the one we stabbed. This is the one you stabbed. Okay. But he doesn't remember that you did it because yeah, you took yeah. the memory out. Do you have holes? 
know what I'm saying? Like after you get stabbed by like syringes, you gotta be leaky a little bit, right? Yeah, probably. Okay. I mean, you don't leak from like when you give blood, like bleeds for a little. Uh, by yeah, definition, that I think for you a do. Bit. Risky comes over to you, and he has a couple of trickles of blood Thank dripping you. down Thank his you, uh, his just skull. That image just needed it. Thank his you. His scalp, and uh, he bends over at the waist and goes, "Hey guys, I'm so excited that you're all uh, all here together. Really, really bring that Papa John spirit." to uh oh looks like a corpse okay oh yeah we did we did deliver the pizza before she, she died. loved it so much she left a perfect review for us i mean i see a bite taken out of it so i mean that's as far as your interaction needed to go so hey great job but you know what be even better is if you were back in the kitchen doing your jobs and not celebrating the fact that you've done your job so uh i just want to say uh this shift uh it's gone okay it's gone not bad and oh. i heard i got it straight from any points upwards the papa himself that if you work just three more Perfect days, no mistakes. Oh, you my God. can get pushed up to the delivery driver. So this was like one day we delivered a pizza. We made one pizza, so we got to make like one more per day. Is that how it works? No, you'll get more than one pizza a day, but we'll speed that up and you'll just do some rolls and stuff. But like, <laughs> <laughs> but basically, you just all you have to do is just not screw up. And uh, yeah, no, no, hey, no problem. Uh, I need to take a smoke break. We don't do that here. That's I need to take a break. I'm looking at my seven out of 40 hit points. And I just, I'm trying I, to... Yeah, I need to, yeah. Oh, your sh oh, you're shifted. You think your shift is over. Oh, no, yeah, no, no, no. Break. Yeah, just a quick break. Do you do breaks? We do breaks, but they're not long enough for a short rest. Short rest is at least an hour. And huh. we don't get a lunch break, you fascist. You live off the nutrition of the love of his father. That, oh, that down my God. Him. As he's saying this, Lark comes over and puts a hand on Risky Click's shoulder and says, yeah, you, actually, you know what? You're, you're, you're totally right. It's my bad. I'm, you know, I'm supposed to be the one training them. So I'll explain. It's all good. I got it, Risky. Thanks. Thanks. Sorry. And Risky Click goes, nope, that's, uh, you don't need to thank me. Apologies, maybe, for interrupting me, but that's fine. And he just keeps smiling at him and keeps maintaining eye contact with him as he walks away. And Lark goes, hey, so if you keep working here, you're going to start losing memories. Okay. Like how much? Like it seems like we how much memories are we talking about here? Like yeah. can I pick the memories I lose? I have a couple I'd like to get rid of. Yeah. So the way this is going to work. I got a really dark pass. So every day that you spend working here, you're going to roll and lose a memory. And the higher the roll, the more precious the memory will be to you. And Lark says, "There's also another way we could try to handle this, which is we could just take the keys from the delivery driver." Oh yeah, who's the delivery driver now? So the delivery driver right now, his name is Dorito Devito. Thank you, Josh X Mayhem. <laughs> Dorito Devito. And right now he sleeps in special quarters and he points to the other end of the cafeteria and you can see that there's a very sturdy looking door that opens up. You see what seems to be a man sized calzone walk through the door, <laughs> followed by another. And both of them, they're just rounded pockets of dough with burbling, pulsating boils under their flaky exterior. And they look aggressive. They look angry. And then behind them is just like a guy. And the guy is, is swinging like the VIP a, section in the club. <laughs> the guy is swinging a keychain uh, that is connected to his a cool belt. scorpion jacket like the driver. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, OK, that's them. Yeah, that's the guy in the back. That's Dorito DeVito. Those wow, are he's exuding such an aura right now. He's just flanked by two monsters like and he's got keys to a cat bus. Yeah, the calzone carbuncles next to him. Those are his, his bodyguards. Whenever he leaves, he's got his, his little quarters there and they bring him food and he's got a bathroom and everything in there. So he basically just stays there unless he's going to go to the pussy wagon. And then they accompany him there and they wait in the garage for him to come back when he's out ah. on his Is on there his only routines. one delivery guy? Yeah, it's a very important job being wait, able so to... like in three days, we could be the number two. Yeah, what happens to him? What happens to, to who? Oh, to the him. Delivery yeah. guy. Oh, I, I believe we're looking to expand. I think they're trying to get another pussy wagon. Oh, okay. multiple pussy wagon. Okay. This but he, is wait, like... he told you three days? Yeah. Yes. I don't know if I buy that. You don't buy it? What do you mean? Like, no one would lie about your potential yeah, for growth oh, at a company, yeah, right, no Uncle would, Yeah. He just puts his hand on Normal's head and he goes, oh, oh, Normal. Oh, oh, I wish you, I wish you would never had to grow up. <laughs> oh, do they tell that to every person that works here? I have an idea. Okay, team. let's hear it. So, What's your idea? as you know, I'm well-versed in the art of mascot engineering. I've oh, never attempted... God a giant costume made out of dough before. Mm -hmm. But maybe we could like bake a big calzone and hide in it and then knock on the door and we could pretend to be those calzone guys and we could get the keys. Seems like they Holy can get close shit. to the guy. Dude, so this we is made just a, a hitman level, dude. <laughs> if we made like a couple big calzones 
Uh, yeah. We could make flawless disguises for ourselves. Maybe Hermie could show us how to act and study the movements of one of these Calzone dudes, you know? Oh. Hermie, is that something that, like, you know, you could help us out with? As you turn and look at him, he's already moving like a Calzone. <laughs> he's something about him. You can see, like, he's somehow making his skin pulsate a little bit. Like, there's just, like, magma hot pecs, pizza sauce with him. He's flexing oh, his pecs. He goes, I'm already there. I'm already figuring out my business. And he starts, like, making bits of the burn bits of him flake Ew. off like it's crust. He goes, oh, what? It's about God. realism. <laughs> I've been studying my primary. I'm going going to approach <laughs> Dorito DeVito. Okay, immediately as you approach, both of the calzone carbuncles turn towards you and put their hands next to two big boils that begin to oh, start vibrating and growing. And they're like ready with their oh. hands on either side of them as if they're going to try to pop oh, them hi. at you. Oh, Mr. Dorito DeVito, hi. Hi, we, we, we're, we're new employees. Are you trying to persuade him to stop walking? Because he's just walking. I'm kind of walking along with him then. Oh, okay. It's uh, a walk and talk. So the cows and carbuncles, one of them puts his hand out in front of DeVito DeVito to stop him. And both of them are facing you. And DeVito looks at you and goes, new voice. <laughs> <laughs> you dare stop me, boy? What do you think you who do you think you are? Who do you think you're talking to right now? <laughs> oh, Damn, I'm a meager a piece of shit in your world. <laughs> I am nothing. I am nobody. We've been told that we aspire to be a delivery person and that we are to help you at any and give you anything you want. So if we could just know where your room is so we can bring you breakfast and all sorts of wonderful things. That's what our boss told us to treat you right because you're the best and we hope to be as cool as you. So just let us know where you sleep. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's insane. So roll deception with disadvantage. With disadvantage? It's an insane thing to walk like up to a stranger and be like, hey, where do you him? sleep? But he's also trying to say that, you know, he was assigned, I guess. Yeah, I'm assigned yeah but to... if this guy's got the most cush job at the Papa John's, he's probably used to people lying to him to try to get closer to him. Uh, I got three. Oof. Okay. He goes, Hey, you know what? There's something you got, kid. Everybody around this Papa John's has been trying to get close to Dorito DeVito, but you're the first one who had the sick to stop me when I'm with my calzone carbuncle. So give, give, you, you know what? Give me a hand. Shake, shake, shake my hand. Sh oh, shake my hand. well, I don't think shake I'm worthy hand. enough to shake, shake a hand. hand like shake yours. Hand. <laughs> shake my hand. <laughs> if you don't want shake to your hand. And he reaches out for your hand. I'm going to step away. Okay, he goes, okay. Fucking baby. <laughs> Piss your pants like a little baby boy. Okay, well, no one choose for you, asshole. Whoa, you're going to insult the oh. top employee right away? That's some Glen Gary Glen Ross shit, yeah. dude. Everybody puts down their pizza forks. <laughs> pizza. <laughs> and then the, the managers who see that people are eating pizza with forks immediately have them fired. <laughs> and people put down their pizza hands. And they all turn to you <laughs> as you call him an asshole, and everything goes silent, and the fucking piano player stops playing. <laughs> <laughs> and Dorito says, What? <laughs> Did you just call me? I, I don't know. I'm really nervous. Um, I just say it again. I what? Say it again. Uh, do you want orange want juice in the morning no, no, from no, no, us? No, no, no. The last part. Say it again. I want to hear it. I want to hear what you call me one more time so everybody can hear it. Um, Link, what, what's going on, dude? I was over here mocking up plans for the yeah, calzone costume. It felt like we were all on board for that plan. It was a plan. I was just trying to figure out. So once we got the calzone costumes, we could wake him up in the morning and be like, hey, calzone costumes, wake me up. Oh, 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 thank you. Thank you. Oh, there we go. Boys, uh, I think this person was trying to plan some sort of heist or something. So why don't you go ahead and. No, uh, I was just thinking that the new mascot for uh, our, our workplace here would be a calzone, you know, just like these two fine gentlemen, you know, to celebrate all the hard work you guys do. And I'm sorry about my friend. We got nothing but respect for Doritos and Cool Ranch Doritos and everything you got going on, Doritos Locos Tacos. Cool so. I can't believe you already told him about Callie the Calzone, the new costume. Yeah, it was supposed person. to be a surprise. So yeah. um, we're going to go. All right, both of you rolled a session with disadvantage. That's You know how that's going to end up, Anthony. Well, if there's two of them doing it. It kind of evens out. Uh, yeah, I thought the Calzone plan was great. I was like, oh, we'll just wake him up. Like, and you we called go. him an asshole, Matthew. I know. Well, that was just Link was... I got, all of his attention you. I got a six. Uh, one of the Calzones pops its blister Ew. in a jet of piping hot magma sprays onto Lincoln. And ah. it's really bad. It's burning your skin. You scream and you fall to your knees. Um, I try to find some water to throw on no, it. No, grease well, fire. As, as it's been... <laughs> A, A, grease fire, and B, as was set up by Matt in the previous episode, you have to ask for water here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can water? I get some water here? Or like, yeah, with some lemon in it or something. How much damage? Roll a 2d10. Seriously? Yeah. Um, I mean, I mean, I'm in death saves. So. so Link goes limp, falls to the ground, and is dying. Good first day at work. If anybody wants to roll a perception check. 13. With a 13, you can see that the act of popping its pizza sauce blister. It's pizzussy. It's pizzussy. <laughs> um, you realize that the act of popping its pizzussy actually caused the calzone 
to take damage. Oh, uh, it looks it looks oh. uh, weaker than it did before. But you're also probably decently distracted by the fact that your friend just died and, or is almost dying in front of you. I'm going to cast some Cure Wounds on Lincoln. Okay. I said, whoa, 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 we're all part of the Baba John's family here. It's just a big misunderstanding. So you heal uh, 10 hit points. So I pop up. You pop back up. It feels like there's burns all over your face, but not permanent ones, just like pizza burn on the roof of your mouth type shit. Oh, uh, fuck. Your whole oh, face is the pizza burn on the roof of your oh, mouth. Oh, devastating. Link, you okay, buddy? Yes. Oh, whoop. That, bing, bing. That's our shift. We got to get back to work. That's, we yeah, can't, we, we, Papa John's. Over. Dorito jumps onto a table, so everybody look at what just happened there. You come at me, you come at the master of the pussy wagon, and you get put the fuck down. You don't even look at me. You don't stop me while I'm walking. You do nothing. As far as you're concerned, I am a, your superior. I am more than you. I'm greater than you. You are the fingernail clippings of a god, and I am like his hand. I'm the <laughs> hand of his god. You're a figure nothing. Bye. And he starts heading towards the kitchen. So I bow to him. him. Damn. That's right. Thank you. I don't know. It sounds like the fingernail clippings of a god would still be pretty powerful. Yeah. So he heads away, and Lark goes like, so that happened. <laughs> <laughs> I, sorry, I would have, I'm trying to help, but I'm, it's sort of, I'm like, I had the one lat, and he takes an empty syringe out of his pocket. And this was full of memories and stuff. And I used this when I saw you guys, I'm sort of saving it so I could be cogent while you're here, but it's kind of, it's beginning to fade. And Sparrow has one too. And he said to sort of save it for when you guys were safe and you could, you could properly talk, but. Ugh. You're losing your mind right now? What's going on? I just, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sort of losing myself. I'm not going to be as helpful as I mean, I was. not that you were super helpful to begin with. I. Fair, all right, fair one. Yeah, you got me there. Look, we got to figure this situation out. It sounds like if we wait around to try to make a bunch of pizzas, we're all going to forget who we are, no, and we're ourselves. probably just going to get strung along. So we need to figure out how to steal no, this key so we can get out of here. I thought that calzone plan was really good. I'm sorry I messed it up. I thought we just need to know where he is so Link, we can go. you got to not call people assholes. I know. My temper's been really bad lately. What's wrong, bud? My dad's on around. They're really calm me down. Link, whoever you think is an asshole, you can call an asshole. Don't let these assholes tell you who you can and <laughs> cannot say. I'm going to disagree with that, Scary. Okay, well, you're no, an I asshole. Shouldn't have, I shouldn't have said that. I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, really, I'm really losing my temper. I think, did I ruin the idea or can we still try to make the calzones... We just gotta find out where he sleeps. Cause yes, I don't. If the like, calzone, listen. If the calzone disguises are good enough, we'll be able to. Well, really quick. Are there other calzone guards? Is like, are these the only two guards? The only two ones. So that's why my thought is that we we, we can't like walk up while they're already calzones. Like we gotta we just walk have up to. We have to while ambush. He's by himself. No, we can ambush one of the calzone guards, and then in the calzone <gasps> costume replace that. Wait guard. a second. Wait a second. Hear me out. Yeah. Hear me out. Three costumes, two calzones, and I look at Hermie and I say, "The key. Hermie, one of us could dress Hermie, up as the key." Hold, I say, "Her." <laughs> <laughs> I say, Hermy, did you get enough studying Dorito DeVito? He turns around and he already looks like Dorito DeVito. <laughs> oh my God. Here's, like, what oh, Here's, Here's what we do. You tell, you tell me. Hear me out. Two of us disguise ourselves as calzones to talk to Dorito DeVito. One of us disguises ourselves as Dorito DeVito to lead the calzones away. And that oh, way we, we keep them in yeah, two separate yeah, yeah. areas yeah. so that we can get the key and we can steal the pussy wagon. Oh, and then the other two of us will just keep working and act like everything's okay and make excuses. We, and for then it. two lookouts to make sure that the two teams aren't going to come into eye contact with no, each other. I like other. that, but how, how does Hermie ever get to Call those? Call me Dorito now. Oh, we I'm need to hurry, Dorito. It feels like uh, we need to find a part oh God, where the, their walk cycles are out of view of other people, so that we can separate them yeah, somehow. I, yeah, like maybe the, I can throw a coin, and then Dorito, Dorito will go look at it yeah. over in a room by himself, and then we'll do the whole switcheroo. Do you see what I'm saying? The, no, that's the hard part. Is the part where Danny Dorito or Here's whatever is away do. from the calzones. That's easy though. Oh, oh Lark says, is, "Well, the calzones are separate from." Dorito when he's out on his runs. Like when he goes into the pussy wagon, he's alone in the pussy wagon and they stand outside of the garage door. So one oh. of us has just got to call in an order. Perfect. And then Hermie will stand right by the door and then he'll come through and be like, oh, I just finished my run. And then I oh, need- he forgot his keys. What do we yeah. have to tell him? He just says, time to bring me back to the place. And then the calzones will walk with they Hermie. Won't buy it if he's and then when Dorito DeVito comes out, yeah, oh, the, 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 we yeah. have the two calzones, lead them away. Yeah, then we can beat the shit out of that asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you're volunteering to be a calzone. It's the perfect plan. Wait, but hold on. How are we going to fool the calzones if Hermie, as the reader, shows up without the cap us? Okay. Wait, yeah. no, here's and the also, thing. how am I going to get onto the other side of a locked door? Like, they're going to put their backs to no, a we'll locked door. No, we'll make a distraction. We'll make a distraction that makes them, like, you know, take a few steps forward, and then you'll come out of the door. Then you'll be right at the door. <laughs> 
Yeah, 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 ah, yes, the specific kind of distraction that makes <laughs> well, them walk two steps forward. <laughs> hey, Hermie, we that old classic. Hey, Hermie, we haven't figured it out yet, man. Give us, give me a break. <laughs> I'm just asking questions. We're just an, blue act, sky. an actor needs to understand the space. I'm like, asking okay, motivational where, where's, questions. Where's the garage? Like, like we come out, we say, "Hey, fuck you, calzones," and we throw some stuff at them, and then they chase after us. The garage, then, if you remember, is in the kitchen where we were all stabbing. Yeah. Uh, so we make the calzones chase us so, around the corner. Okay, so they'll be standing guard on the door. Yes, in the kitchen. Wait a second. Wait, He's just no, 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 no. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Everybody. Everybody, everybody, I've yeah. got it, I've got it. The order is big enough to hide Hermie in a box. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's like in Ocean's Eleven. Sorry, out of character. It's like in Ocean's Eleven when they hide the guy in the box. So we do a big when order they, of when pizzas. They hide Chinese national so treasure way, Jet Li. He gets into the back of the box. And then we wheel him. The pizza's got to go through the door. Oh, that's true. This step's and incredible. But wait, let's just cut out a few steps here. This is incredible. Let's just get a big enough order that the four of us can be in the box. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and then Herbie, Herbie can stay back here and be like, hey, here's the big order for you. <laughs> so we're saying we ordered enough pizza for all four of us. Five of us. Yeah. And my like two dads, all seven of, seven us. of us. Oh, yeah, we need to bring your dads, too. Shoot. Um, a yeah. pizza party. It needs to be it's the most party. insane pizza party. Yeah. So we call it a pizza party order. Yeah. Interesting. So we wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Who's gonna have to call and talk to a human being on the phone oh. to do an order? Well, Hermie, Hermie can act as anybody. I mean, I would have to act as a boomer or something. Someone who's <laughs> yeah. comfortable getting An on ancient the one. Yeah, yeah one, ancient one of the old ones. I don't know talker. if I could. <laughs> <The phone> <laughs> I will have to go into my special zone for this, but I, I think I could try. <sighs> okay, okay. This may be, Hermie, I grabbed by the shoulders. This may be the hardest thing you've How ever small? done as a teenager. How small? Here, let's all lay down on top of each other. How big is this? <laughs> Like, what's the volume? We can like, extrapolate what's the, what's the UPS box size of all of us laying down? Here's the I lay down on the floor. Come on. I get a small I, I, I curl up like a cat. I curl up like a cat. Link, you're so long. You're like of, a snake. Uh, that's why I'm curling up. We could all do like, of the Tetris pieces, there's the Z piece, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Z piece, which is, like, the, which is the, the equivalent of us putting our legs at 90 degrees and our hips at Who 90 degrees. Who orders a Z piece of pizza? That's no, no, I'm just, just, I'm just saying it's the most efficient way to pack the box is that we orient ourselves with the Z pieces. No, a different... circle is the most efficient sh <laughs> geometric shape. Whatever shape you guys want, I was just trying to see how big we all are when we're all laying down right now. Well, okay, so the biggest pizza they have is 16 inches. What? Diameter. Is it? Is Papa John's No, but what we're going to do is we're going to put together well, a ton of pizza okay. boxes and then hollow it out. You know, like with a book, like when you haul out a book, like... It'll look like a bunch of pizza boxes stacked on top of each other, but it'll be hollow on the inside. We're right, all I'm, in just trying, I'm trying to see how many pizzas we have to make for the width of us. Which would be helpful if we knew how big we have to make it so every <laughs> lay down. Like, also, if we maybe called in an order for a special type of pizza that was bigger than 16 inches, like, oh, I want the loop-de-loop, -loop, which is two 16-inch is in a loop. The Hooters special, which is a bunch of wings. And boobs. <laughs> it's like a refrigerator box. That's what I'm getting. I'm just trying to figure out how big. Yes. Now, if we all laid sort of in Z shapes on top of and next to each other, how tall are you? He's oh, I'm six, six three. three. You're six. Oh my six god! Three. But look, look how small I am, and I'm curled up like a cat, and I'm like on the ground, still curled up as small well, as I can be. It strikes me that <laughs> all right. So normal puts a large pizza box on the ground mm -hmm. and stands in it. Yeah. And realizes that, like, it's like if we order, just hear me out. If 37 we, and a half pizzas is the height in order to get 6'3". So if Times we just four. order seven separate orders to our heights of pizza, and then we just use a dolly to roll each of those. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like one at a time? Yeah, and then we're all we're basically. Split up. But what was if one of us falls? What was if we make a perfect, do that, but put all four columns next to each other and then hollow out the inside so it's just a big empty box that looks like pizza boxes stacked and we all stand in there. That's or, what I'm or, saying. Or, or, I just don't want to be separated. Imagine if like one of us gets like falls off the back or like they catch one of us. That'd like, be terrible. They would lose an entire order of 37 yeah. and a half pizzas. <laughs> they could never survive. Like if you learned anything Scary. from the Hobbit, it's like you should you're be the leader. What do you barrels? think we should do? Scary, make oh, the choice. Leader. I'm worried about how we're gonna pay for this order. Uh cash on delivery. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, no, we're not gonna pay for it. Hermie's gonna pretend that he's gonna pay for it. Yeah. Does any delivery place do that now? Cash on delivery? I I'm more that. wondering how we're going to convince somebody that they've ordered ordered a hundred <laughs> how many boxes of six feet of pizza about 30 boxes okay so times four so we need 120 boxes, boxes. Uh, i should have paid attention in math this is like nine thousand pizzas right 120 boxes of pizza we could all stand in it well don't forget that 
we're going to need to construct this out of cardboard. We could just make the outsides of it look like a bunch of sacks. That's what I've been saying this whole time. But inside of it is actually a nice, comfortable, yeah. cool secret base. Yeah. Cool <laughs> secret <laughs> fort. Made out of pizza boxes. A mobile pizza fort. I look around. Are will. there any, like, shipping crates around? No, it's just pizza boxes. How about, like, where they, okay. like, get their dough and well, stuff? Well, uh, yeah, there's, there's probably boxes where they, like, sent you some of the ingredients and stuff, but they're not huge. How they're, big like, is the, the box that holds all the pizza boxes, Anthony? Those pizza boxes. <laughs> they don't deliver. send you those. Uh -huh. How long has it been since you worked in a restaurant? <laughs> they don't send you those in a box. They send you those as broken as down flats. cardboard flats with a, a rubber dough? band around them. So there's no, there's no crates. Not person sized crates. No. But wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Can you order? Wait, can you order? I got it. I got it. Can you order? Calzone people? <laughs> like, is that an item on the menu? <laughs> like a stripper? Like a I'm asking. <laughs> like, they pop out of the box and it's like, happy birthday. Guys, I know what I'm doing for my birthday next year. <laughs> is that what you thought, Matt? That you could just order a giant calzone and then you show up to do to my four? My point is, maybe this party rather have, like, you know, they have, like, big subs. This is like. <laughs> <laughs> this is a it's like, you order party calzones big and then you just order two of them. Hey Herbie, call and ask. Say, say, hey, you're rich. Well, hey, you're hey, I'll like give it a call. I'll give it a call. What's the delivery line? Like, right, I want right, to call the right, delivery right, line. Right, so, Herbie, get yeah. Herbie, no, I want to call it. You want to call it? Yeah, I'm gonna call it. Okay. So it rings. Hi. I said it rings. I didn't say it picked up yet. <laughs> I'm practicing. I'm yeah, practicing. Okay. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Here's Hi. the line. Hi. Hi. You don't know how to use phones yet. I get it. Hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah, ring, like ring. that. Like, it's it's try a hello, Link. Hello. Ring, ring. Yeah, okay. Hello. Ring, ring. Say it like, what's up, gamers? That's what, what they okay. say. What's up? So you hear a click, and you hear Risky Click's voice going, Hello, Papa John's delivery. What's up, Papa? I'm a big, <laughs> a big shot down the village nearby. I got a big party. Do you have a delivery order? Uh, I would like a delivery order. Okay, let me connect you to the uh, cooks in the kitchen. <laughs> and, then, and then he goes, Link, kids. Oh, I grabbed the other we phone. We have a delivery order. <laughs> I grab the phone. Hey. And you, you go back to the kitchen? Yeah, I go back to the kitchen. So he hands you the phone and he goes, somebody wants a delivery order. Yeah. This is your first delivery order. Make okay. it good. Hey, do you mind? I, I get nervous when people watch me. Can I just roll this on my own? 17. 17? Yeah. And he goes, I mean, it's fine. It's whatever. The lines are recorded anyway. So I'll know if you do bad customer service. Okay. All right. I'm oh, so they're recorded, so I have to. Okay. So I was going to stop, but now I got to finish it. Hey, I, I got a big party, and I, you know, I don't like just normal pizzas. Oh, yeah, well, well what is it that you want, then? Well, I, I don't know if you sell these, but I saw, <laughs> saw some big some big walking calzones, and, like, I don't need them walking, and I don't need any, like, feet or anything, but, like, can you make big calzones for a party, like two of them? Oh, I don't know. I'll have to ask. I'll have to check in with customer service. Um, hey, and I, and I call out to Rick. Hey, this guy wants, like, big calzones. <laughs> It's okay if we get like two, if I mix him some big calzones, he's willing to pay a lot. I think uh, I saw a YouTube tutorial on how to do that, so I can do that for sure. So Risky pops his head back in and he goes, Holy we can send him a calzones, but does he want sentient or non-sentient? We can't give him sentient ones. Oh yeah, no, non-sentient. He we'll just check wants with big, him. You yeah. probably check with him, Link. He just wants big calzones. Well, we should check with him, see if we No, he said he didn't want any feet on them. <laughs> So, I'm pretty, so I'm pretty sure he meant like no walking cow, like not sentient. He just wants to eat them. So like, okay, let's so, go. Yeah, cool. you can make big cows and just right, make pizzas it, and turn this, this out. This, this, this is a big order, man. You're going to be really proud. I'm going to listen to that later. I better, I better hear good customer <laughs> service. Keep going, man. Keep going. Hey, um, okay. So yeah, we can, so yeah, uh, we can do that. We just need your, uh, I just need your address. Uh, um, oh. I, uh, normal frantically <laughs> looks through the receipts to find another address that oh, my address. someone else yeah, has been ordered sense. from. I'm like, what do I normal? <laughs> Roll an investigation. Norm, I need an address. <laughs> Why? What the fuck is an address? Like, hey, hey, before I give you an address, um, <laughs> stole, I stole yourself. I stole want, yourself. I want double check. I want like pepperoni. I want a lot of that joy. I got a natural 20. <laughs> You get to make up an address, and it's, it's, it's correct. Whatever you make up is a real address. Uh, it's uh, the Empire Center. Yeah, it's the Empire Center. Duh, just ask for me, uh, Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, hey, that's, that's wild. <laughs> My name's Lincoln, too, man. Oh, yeah, good name. Good name. So just ask for Lincoln at the Empire Center. And I want three. You know, I want, wait. Seven. I want seven. seven. Cal Whoa, seven. Yeah, I want seven calzones. Really big, like well, like six feet, yeah, six three feet, yeah. yeah. And you know, whatever, whatever the cost, man, don't care. That All sounds right, like a that big sounds, party. That sounds really good, man. When you want it, oh, as a ASAP <laughs> as soon as possible. All right. Oh, that's well, what that stands for. Yeah. <laughs>
Okay, great. Um, all right. Well, we'll see you soon. Uh, thanks for shopping at Papa John's. And then I hang up. <laughs> hey, guys, I think we got seven calzones orders. Rishki walks in and is going. <laughs> 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 that was incredible. You managed to move six six foot calzones. Seven. seven. He said seven. Actually. Seven. We got to get started. Like seven six, six foot, foot three calzones. Feet. <laughs> I do have some notes. You didn't try to upsell them on our breadsticks, and he did. Oh, fuck. And he oh, sodas. Man. Uh, also, notably, you forgot to ask for a credit card number uh, or any form of payment. He seems like he's pretty good for it. So like, once we get there, <laughs> roll persuasion, roll persuasion. Yeah, just like hearing him through the phone, he seemed like a cash and delivery type of person. Got a six. <laughs> and he goes, "No, you're gonna have to call him back." Oh, and uh, this time, this time, while I watch, I'm gonna make oh, sure you do it right. Okay. Oh no. Um, I look Hurry. nervously at my two. Oh, yeah, hand the phone to normal. Yeah, I hand the phone to normal. Uh, give like, me a sleight of hand with advantage. Do I do it too? Both of you can do sleight of hand normal, not advantage. I got 13. I got a 19. You slide one of the phones easily to normal. That's like that scene in uh, Now You See Me. Where now he's You back See Me with the Why do they keep referencing Now You See Me? <laughs> that fucking movie whips ass, dude. There's so many better There's such movies. a fun. No, there's not, man, but there's zero magician <laughs> movies, okay? There's only one, and then it turns out that one's not really a magician movie because it's a twin the whole time. But they always give it to the person about to be searched. It makes no sense. <laughs> well, yeah, that's what's happening. That's true. They keep throwing it to the person about to be searched. They just give it to the first First guy in that sequence, and then you'd be like, just hang on to it. You're good. <laughs> okay, so um, I call the phone. That yeah, normal's going to well, Wait for me to get out of the room so he doesn't oh, yeah, hear wait, well, yeah, honestly. So, yes, I duck out of the room. I was the Star 69. <laughs> they have Star 69. <laughs> yeah, it's Earth, dude. They got Star 69. Yeah, it's, it's Earth. There's old folks. There's a broom closet. There is, you know, the bathroom, and then there's the big cafeteria area. I'm going to duck into the bathroom, and I say, Excuse me, I need to go to the little boy's room. Uh. <laughs> No, no one was Sorry, paying I think my voice just dropped a little bit. <laughs> Sorry, I have to go to the bathroom. I just hit puberty. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I, nobody's I have to go wax my mustache. Uh, good, one second. Goodbye. All right. that, okay, goodbye. And I duck into the men's restroom. Okay, cool. It's one of those one staller. Or it's not even a stall. It's just a toilet. It's a you know non-gender toilet, but there's only the one of them, so you're alone in there. It's only for men. It's not <laughs> so It is a sit-down toilet, but only men can use it. <laughs> yes, I will wait by the phone. It rings, I'm assuming. Okay. Yeah, so again, Risky Click is making horrible, slightly bug-eyed eye contact with you the entire time. Uh, this is Lincoln. You've got the Empire Center. And he goes, put him on speaker. I want to hear oh, it all. Okay. Um, I put him on speaker and I kind of look at Risky Click like, you know, let me know if I'm doing anything wrong. Oh, hey, I will. Hey, Mr. Lincoln, uh, this is Link ha, from the Empire Center. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, I mean, no, not from the Empire He's Center. He's already shaking for, his head. Risky oh, Click. Sorry. Oh, I'm a little nervous. Papa John's, I'm sorry. I made a big mistake. Oh, you did? Yeah, I didn't get your credit card information. Huh? You got to pay for it. So if you could. Credit card? No problem. Okay, thanks. It's a little Home Alone 2 for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Normal saying all of his lines is to his talk boy deluxe. And then like, yeah, my credit card. Uh, what kind of credit card do you take? And Normal fumbles through his pockets and realizes doesn't have a credit card so you know uh, just the one that's got 16 numbers and just <laughs> and you know uh right uh well yeah you can charge it to uh lincoln normal at the <laughs> empire center okay uh and my credit card number. Risky clicks, if you like zoom in on his mouth he's like mouthing <laughs> lincoln normal he doesn't say it but you can see him mouthing it uh and my credit card number is uh 818 818 Five three five. Five three five. Two seven. Two seven. Two seven. Two seven. I can't read the whole card. How many numbers is that? That's uh that's ten. Oh, uh six one six four oh five. Okay. Um good. Uh expiration date. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh. I look at Risky like, right? Like, I'm doing a good job? Uh, Risky's like, mm-hmm. don't want to fix anything keeps, this yeah. time. Oh, it's a March two years from now. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah, me too. And um, and how about uh, me the, too. CBB2, how about the code? At CBB2 the, code? The, yeah, the secret code on the back it's or whatever. It's not the secret code. It's the, the CBB2 code. code. The secret code uh, yes, on the back. The secret code <laughs> yes. is Osiris 9. Oh, no, just oh, oh, the oh, three. nine, what? It's just three, three or four. Oh, that's right. Uh, six, oh. six, six. Oh, six. <laughs> okay, six, 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 six. Great. All right. Well, yep. I'll charge this in just a sec, and uh, I hope you enjoy your calzones. Uh, I, I won't can't be there. wait to eat them. Okay, great. Uh, <laughs> all right. I, you're, uh, thank you, you see for Taylor. Being a you see Taylor being like upsell bread. Oh, oh, bread oh, oh, Risky oh. Click is nodding and pointing at Taylor. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Do you want? Uh, forgot. You know it goes really good with seven, six foot tall calzones. 
Breadsticks. Some more bread. <laughs> some more bread. And also we got drinks. Just uh, normal two liters. Just two soda. liters. And yeah, and oh, yeah, and that's it. Do you want some bread? Sticks? Uh, uh, yeah, put me down for a small breadsticks with my <laughs> seven, seven foot calzones. <laughs> All right, great. But uh, you sure? Do you Smalls? need more boxes or anything like hey, that? Just Big put box. just fifty extra cardboard hey, look, boxes in there. <laughs> hey, look, just between you and me, you ain't getting the best deal. The small bread sticks. If you get the large bread sticks, you get more bread for your money. Risky click is nodding. You know, I I, don't, I really don't like being pressured into these high risk sales tactics. No I don't. pressure. I just don't want your party members to be disappointed when there's not enough bread sticks to go around for all those people enjoying those calzones. Oh God. Oh, uh, you're right. I'll take seventy <laughs> orders of bread sticks. Oh, okay. Well, that's wow. Thank you so much, sir. How much will that be? Fuck. Why did I say that? <laughs> <laughs> I look at Risky. Do you have like a calculator or what? Like Risky says. If he knows the price, he won't want to just oh. just tell me it's it's all good. Don't tell worry about it. You'll see the price on your receipt after we charge you. <laughs> <laughs> Risky click winks at you and gives you the thumbs up. You'll see the price on your right. receipt. Okay, we'll great. Goodbye. And I hang up the phone. Risky turns away for a second. And when he turns back, his eyes are red and a tear is falling down his <laughs> oh And he kneels next to you, Lincoln. He says, That was the greatest oh, wow. upsell. I've ever seen you got yeah, him to buy you go, Link. Thanks. 70 things of breadsticks. Yeah, that's quite a bit to go from just and, one small to 70. And you got yeah. him to not ask what the price was. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty. Yeah. You know, and so um, into another Lincoln. What are the odds, man? What are the wild. odds? All right. So we should get started. That's a lot of cooking. We got Yeah, you do. better get yeah. started. You're going to be working through a break. You're not getting your break, but hey, oh, that's okay. Pop is going to appreciate the work you did today. Oh, thanks. nice. A couple more days of that. You might find yourself being driver. Uh, wow. Wow. Comes back from the bathroom. I washed my hands. Oh, yeah. You could tell. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> All right, so uh, Risky. Oh, sorry, I mean, I, I washed my hands. So sorry, my, my voice undropped. Uh, <clears throat> so Risky goes, I'm going to go up in the uh, the front, and uh, yeah, you get started on making some calzones. Be careful, it can be pretty hot. And he heads back to the front, and Lark goes, that was not bad. <laughs> so are we eating the calzones here? No, <laughs> Uncle Lark, we're going to hide no. in them so we can escape. But don't tell anyone that. But we don't get the calzones? No. Uh, you know what? I'm going to write down the plan on a piece of paper, and you can put this in your little pocket, and then when you get confused, you look at it, and you'll remember or what we're doing. Or when he gets, like, caught, he's going to narc. I'm so going to write it in Elvish, the language that Uncle Lark taught me. Okay. okay uh, I yeah. did. <laughs> That's um, everything I did. When you're in the calzone, so, you can eat some of it. But, so, <laughs> yeah. I'm you just eat. hungry. And you get the sense that he is regressing, regressing a little child. bit. Oh, no. And he's like, it's boring. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Just a Wait. side note, that's something that, I don't know where Dorothy learned boring, but now when she goes to bed, I'm like, okay, time to go to bed. She goes, but it's boring. <laughs> I'm like, Just, yeah, but if it's boring, you'll eventually fall asleep. She goes, ugh, but it's boring. <laughs> Teen huddle real quick. Guys. Okay, okay. So far, so good. Just so thumbs far, up all so around. Good. Yeah. I just want to just note, just a quick question. Aren't they going to be suspicious when seven of us disappear? Oh, hmm. no. I mean, well, okay. Yeah, what but we'll if be we gone act, already. What if we act like the boxes are really heavy and we can't carry them? Like, oh, I need help with carrying this box out. And That's fine. But then who's in your box? Like, you know what I'm Wait, saying? Do we have a like, bedroom, though? Where we sleep, we just put a bunch of pillows underneath for a bit. Ah. We only, I mean, yeah, they're going to know we're gone as, just, as long as but we're out of late. here. As first. long as we get out of here. Okay, okay. So we, yeah. so we need to figure out what, just an additional thing. But I do thing. think one of us might have to stay back to like, the process of giving the calzones to the delivery uh, Dorito guy. Like, Hermie can just be here and not saying we have to get rid of Hermie or anything. I'm just saying Hermie can be here and just like, be like hey, wait, this will work. Nobody's going to mistake in this order for a different order. No, but the we question just... is, Link, how do we all fit into the calzones and get ourselves delivered? Dorito DeVito probably just picks up the orders. Like, we'll just leave all of our calzones on the counter. Just so you know, while you were doing that, I rolled perception for a risky click and he rolled an eight. So he's like, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody named Taylor Scary. This is fine. I'm not going to go back and check on them again. I'm just saying we need to figure out a good excuse for why seven of us are no longer behind the counter and in the kitchen. Maybe a note that we write on the thing that says like, hey, Dorito. Oh, here. Uh, Rick. Rick. Risky. 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 Sorry. Risky click. Sorry. Or Rick by his friends. Sorry, his Risky friends know him. You can uh, call me sir. Rick now. After after upselling 70 orders of breadsticks, you can call me sir, Rick now. So we're really excited about the marathon cook session we're about to have. Um, once we're done, can we get our break then? I think, uh... Is that the way the process goes? We'll just leave the calzones out and somebody will come pick them up for delivery? Well, uh, yes, but you're going to have to stay awake just in case, you know, they get the calzones and there's something wrong with them and they need them taken back or need additional ones. Take you got to see this through the end, my boy. Okay. They got to be happy. The money's got to be in our this? coffers. Here's what we'll do. We'll be very exhausted at the end of that. We'll rest in our rooms. Pillow idea. Yeah. On call. On, on call. call. With our phone right next to us. How's Roll that? persuasion. Because we want to make sure... I'm going to try to help. Because we want to make sure that we got, we're got we all rested up for our next shift. 
Because, man, I don't want to toot my own horn, but I feel like I could get a few more deliveries like that tomorrow if we all rested up. Can I get advantage on that persuasion roll? No, but he can help you with his, uh, his own persuasion roll. I have a nine on that. Can you throw a persuasion? Come on, Matt. God damn it. I got three. Oh! And, he go, and he goes, hey, pizza never sleeps. And honestly, the kind of sales you're making, if you don't sleep, you just grind a little bit harder. You rise and grind, never sleep and grind. You can definitely get that promotion very, very soon. So, no, I believe in you. You'll All stick right. here. I'll be here with you, man. Wait, what? Uh, no, the, no need for that. I, we really want to impress you, and we kind of want to be uh, teens on our own. Okay, well, I'll let you do your magic for the calzones part. Once it's done, I'll come in here, and I'll be with you for any any adjustments we need to make to the recipe, anything like that. All right. So as All soon right. as you're done, as soon as you hit that bell to summon Dorita DeVito to come get the pizzas, I'll be there to congratulate you on a job well done. I think one step Guys, at a time. I think we're going to have to. Kill risky yeah, but let's let him leave. <laughs> let's let him leave first, and we can talk freely. Okay, yeah. Him. Well, okay. you know, right, so I now say, leaving. Okay. I say stuff like that when around people all the time. I'm kind of a loose cannon. Okay, two two options here. I think. Okay, we could do a bunch of us in there, and one person stays back, and then that person gets saved when we drive the cat bus back in through the door, <gasps> bust in through. I think one person. Yeah, I think is going to have to escape through the tunnels of darkness and despair. Because hey. we're going to need one. That's the only flaw yeah. in this plan is we're going to need one person to stay behind to talk to Risky well, Click. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. You know, wait, wait, wait. Talk to Risky Click or be Risky Click Hermie. Yeah. If Risky Click comes back here. <laughs> Hermie turns around. He already looks like Risky Click. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm not, I'm not pro murder. I'm not saying we kill, but like, I think we subdue Risky Click and hide him. And then, Hermie, you be Risky Click and you ring the bell and when Dorito comes you should say hey yeah this was made for you yes, that way perfect, perfect. no question like he'll just tell them to put the pizzas in Hermie we will come back for you Matt does not care but Link, <laughs> Link is promising like we will find a way to get you back but I think that you're the only one who's talented enough to pretend to be Risky Click Hermie bends over at the waist like Risky Click would and his <laughs> eyes are like right next to yours and he goes is that a promise Lincoln it is. I almost died trying to save you from the nacho cheese. Nacho. I know we've had some like rough times, but like, man, we're all in this together. Like, we're all gonna, you know, leave nobody behind. Normal goes up to Hermie and says, "Hermie, we will come back for you. I pinky promise." And I put out my pinky for a pinky <sighs> promise. So he is going to flip a coin. Oh shit! <laughs> he reaches out with his burned hand <gasps> and pinky promises you, and says, "You know what happens if you break this promise? I don't think I have to tell you." Yeah, yeah, you feel bad, right? <laughs> oh, you will. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not going to happen because we're going to come back. You know what? Because you're part of this team, Hermie. You came all the way to this realm to help us, and you're a great actor, and we believe in you, and you're going to do a great job, and then we're going to come back and we're going to get you. Okay, I'm going to go do some more research on my primary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to center myself, and the next time we see each other, you won't recognize me. <gasps> so Damn. for now, this is farewell. Okay. And like that. <laughs> he walks into the front of the thing and then just stares at Risky Click for a while. <laughs> just resting his hand, his, his head on his, he on his laptop fist. laptop and like a little stand on his chest. Yeah. yeah. Now it's back Also, here's guys. my thought, by the way. So to kill Risky Click, we'll just have someone standing at the oven being like, something's wrong with this oven. And then be like, and be like oh, the pilot light must be out. Oh, you get Risky Click. And then we just... You're going to Hansel and Gretel him. Yeah, yeah. Hansel and Gretel him. Yes, exactly. Classic. Do we want to kill him or can we just knock him out and tie him up? I mean, you could throw them in an oven. Well, you know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> How do you turn on the oven? You know, yeah, you can lock the oven. Yeah, we'll just, so, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll figure it yeah. out. Do yeah. ovens have locks on them? A bike lock makes any door. Oh, yeah. yeah. Be out of a U lock. A U lock <laughs> makes any object <laughs> lockable. You know what I'm saying? Can we just make calzones? Do we have to roll? Well, we're making the boxes, is what it is. Well, what, which part do you want to do first? Okay. Do you want to make the calzones or do you yeah, want to. Because these calzones in... also have to pass inspection. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah they're so not going to stick their fingers in them. So I might look at one of the calzones. These things have to at least pass a cursor. They're going to, yeah, they're going to open it. Like, if you've never worked at Pete's Place, generally, before you take the shit out, you at least open it to make sure that it's the fucking correct toppings or whatever. Yeah, then you so we, have to make, we actually have to make seven Wait, foot. Hold yeah. on, sorry, real quick. Sorry, Anthony's worked at a pizza place. Matt, you worked at a pizza place and you don't even know this. I've, I've I do worked, know. I, I just worked said, at a pizza place. You worked at a pizza place too. <laughs> yeah. Well, I never. I've, no. I just said that we have to make all sounds right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> wow, I didn't realize that more than half of us have worked at pizza places. Yeah, wow. it's a pretty common job. 
Um, and then two rich boys. And then two <laughs> privileged boys. <laughs> we're the ones who are the pizzas. pizzas. <laughs> I was the one who left it on your doorstep saying, please, sir, five dollars for the gas, sir, <laughs> <laughs> if you wouldn't mind. Here's a tip. Get a new job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one day I'll make a podcast and you'll be sorry. <laughs> I think Taylor already establishing his pizza acumen is going to you know, get to spin and dough, throwing it in the yeah, air. Let's make flour. some rolls. Yeah. Let's, make yeah. some, let's make some kazoons. We got to make seven. Yes. What would you all argue you could roll as a skill for making pizzas is it nature survival is it survival i'm just gonna pick something that i'm good at no that's not how that works Let i me mean look i'm good of those how about insight no nope. insight if you were trying to how see what a pizza acrobatics? felt about you nope if you were Please? trying to jump over a pizza well uh, uh, i think i think here i'll give you survival pizza qualifies as food that makes you feel good about yourself can mm. i use medicine i was gonna say survival or medicine or what about deception? I'm not even gonna ask. These are I'm not gonna pizzas. ask for an advantage, despite the fact I that I said my past life I was a pizza person. Oh, that's a good I point. I got 18 plus two, so I got 20 on my wow. life for survival. Well, I did medicine. Survival medicine is the same. Plus. I think deception should be the third one because you're deceiving that you're good at making a pizza or yes. nature. No, deception is good because sometimes you can just no get fuck a pizza off. To it's, look na- right. it's nature, survival, or medicine. Those are your uh. three. You can roll to make pizza well. I rolled survival and I got four. And I just want to point out that I've not gotten advantage just by throwing nothing but bangers for like all season. So <laughs> I rolled a 14 it. for nature. Okay. Can I say I casted guidance on everybody before they made mm. their pizzas? Yeah, why not? Everybody gets a D4 to add to their roll. So that would be four plus four. So that's an eight. And I think that the whole time Taylor is just thinking that he's 24. doing it without realizing that someone behind him is like, doom, 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 doom. oh, guidance is only one willing creature. And therefore, since his concentration should only be one of these people, but the image of normal just running to and fro people <laughs> just doing ghost just on them is yeah. puppeting elbow. Yeah. Way too like good. And I feel like this is a montage of like four hours of making calzones. Yeah. It's, yeah. Like, it's not like a one time thing. So it's, yeah, it's somehow the like ghost music, but it's the dun 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 music. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's that, but like sensual in 90s. <laughs> It's like a sexy version of spinning plates every time one of us starts like fading. Like, yeah. Taylor, Taylor keeps up. like squinting because he's like, why is it so soft focused in here? <laughs> we'll say I'm doing a pizza team cheer for everybody. Oh, oh, that's good. Yeah. Like, give me a P, yeah. give me an I, give me a Z. That's probably more appropriate in character so you relatable got an than ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> then, you know, if you had died from a crime and are, <laughs> you got shot by a mugger and now you're trying to get your, uh, what, wife, fiance? Fiance. Fiance to solve your murder? And you make her make out with Whoopi Goldberg. Oh, God, yes. yeah, that's right. That's fucking great. Okay, so the, the original Wonder Woman plot conceit really is. Yeah, yeah really. Yeah, so the it. rolls you got were 8, 22, you 24. said? 24. 24. I got 20 plus 4. I got 18. 18. I was going to say, I just Googled good cheers, like what are popular cheerleading cheers, and one of them, I shoot you not, is just go team, go team, go team. That's a good cheer. <laughs> Classic. That's the top result on yeah. Google. Google searches bullshit now. I'm sorry. Better, it's yeah. bad now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is. It's average. Yes, I'm going to take the average of all of those, and that is the perception check that Dorito DeVito is going to have to make to willingly accept these pizzas and travel with. When he dips his cocaine nail into the pizza. <laughs> into the <laughs> it, rubs it on his fucking teeth, and he goes, Ooh, ooh that's a spicy yeah, marinade. Yeah. Yeah. He takes out a big knife, cuts into the middle of yes. the box. <laughs> um, okay, so What's what are you going to do? What is that average? What is that? So the average is 16.6 repeating. Okay, so 17, are you even at 17 or 16? 17. He's going to have to beat a 17 roll okay. to notice that something is awry with the pizzas. That's so good, the, good. the like calzones that. are made. They're pretty damn good. They are peak person sized. <laughs> person shaped even vaguely. How are you going to deal with the risky breath. click? And then who's going to get in? You talk, talk me through that shit. I okay. think we all just slip into our calzones. Everyone, it's time to enter your calzone cocoon. Oh, and we have 70. But you're not going to kill risky click. No, no, no. Here's oh, the thing. Sorry, we need we're going to have one of the outside. First. It's fine because once we get a risky click, we need to take our time. We'll be outside to shove Risky Click into the oven. Yeah, we just need to call Risky style. Click in right now. Or we could tie him up on a phone call with like the maybe like we need to speak to your manager. Yeah. Be, oh, here's what it is. We'll put him on the phone call. And then we'll put them on hold so we're not talking inside. When the bell's rung, Dorito DeVito is going to show up with the walking Yeah, calzone. so then Hermes there is. And, Risky, and, Risky, Hermes and Risky Click is going to come in if he's Yeah, Risky able Click to. even was on phone call. He told years. you he was going to come in when he heard the bell. So we need Risky Click we in We need to disable Risky Click. We, now, need to, yes. we need to take him down. We yes, need to tie him, him up. Down okay. How's okay. that bathroom? Is I've that got, a lock? Right. Was huh? there a lock on the bathroom? The bathroom had a lock from the inside. Yeah, but you could always put like a chair or something. Sure. There was also a broom closet. Normal runs frantically into the main room towards Risky Click and says, Mr. Click, Mr. Click, there's a boom boom accident in the boys' bathroom. Once you roll deception, roll deception. There's a girl in the bathroom. There's, 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 a, girl, there's there. a woman. There's a woman. A woman shat in the bathroom. <laughs> Fuck. 
I got a six. Oh, no, you idiot. It wasn't the toilet. It was in the broom closet. That's why it's a big, big disaster. <laughs> so with the six that you rolled then. Well, does she get scary. to roll dice for her? I mean, I guess. Yeah, go for it. Fudge! Natural... Oh, that's a seven. I got 11. Natural seven. So yeah, with both of those like not great rolls, he goes, well, that's a good thing because that means it's time for you to learn the other element of your job here, which is cleaning up uh, cool, show us. those areas. Go ahead. Yeah, I don't know oh, how yeah. to do that. I've never cleaned anything yeah. in my life, as you can tell by smelling me. He hands you a mop and he says, you will figure it out. Don't worry. Oh, oh can I you just show help, me where we do please, it? Please, manager, please. <laughs> oh, oh, here's what you do. <laughs> Wait, just, can, you, can you just show? Wait, is he in the kitchen now? Yeah. Not to be too simple, but we could just the four of us could overpower him. Oh, he's him. in the room right yeah, now. Just push him into the. Into okay, the, I yeah. push the mop into the door to block the door. Ah, uh, yeah, he's giving us the exact tool to block the fucking door <laughs> from the outside. Guys, cover his mouth. This poor guy. <laughs> Taylor was like a spider monkey in the corner above the door, home alone <gasps> style. So the moment that he came in, Taylor drops and then just like wraps his legs and arms around his head. So now he's got to roll acrobatics. I'm springing a trap though, like a survival. <laughs> no, not. I'm sorry you picked a shitty character, class. <laughs> I'm sorry survival's fucking worthless in a campaign where you're, like, not actually going on long trips and taking campfires and shit. Anthony, shut the fuck up. I'm going to make it work, and then you're going to fucking weep at how cool it's going to be. Okay. Oh I think you actually built the wrong room, I think I'm just going to stick a tomato in his mouth. Five plus one, six. Okay, so you fall I'm down, and he easily can tell... He feels something like fucking the samurais from Seven Samurai that something's descending Didn't on him. Try this move and also fuck it up. Yeah, <laughs> he sure did. And he grabs you out of the air and he goes, "What? I'm going to grab him." He knows it's coming now, so it's just full on a post strength check. And also, I think Scary was going for a tomato into the mouth. Yeah, yeah, you get to roll, which for... he's allergic to. I think. Are we all piling onto him now? Yeah, it sounds like y'all did it basically at the same time. Yeah, we should all just. Post also, up. isn't Larkin Sparrow helping us? Shit, I need to go get Larkin Sparrow. That'll be next. Yeah, I'll be next. There's got to be a full advantage with like all four of us tackling. What, what, what I'm basically doing is I'm allowing you to all to do it. You're getting your surprise round because he didn't know it was going to happen. Uh, so what, are we, what are we rolling? So you for stuffing a tomato in his mouth. I feel like you're rolling sleight of hand, perhaps. You're rolling a strength check, Link. What are you doing normal? Point of no return. We should definitely block the door so he can't like go yeah. back out. Oh, that's what normal was jamming the door with. The okay, mop. so yeah, 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 yeah. So the door Wait. is blocked. You're once again trapped <laughs> for the second time <laughs> in two episodes. <laughs> Some <laughs> part in the back of Risky Click's mind, he's like, "There's something familiar." <laughs> Deja <laughs> vu, if you will. Yeah. I got a 17 on that tomato. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so this tomato whoop, right into his fucking mouth. He tries to scream for help, but is unable to be heard around the edges of the forbidden fruit. Now we got like duct tape the tomato into his mouth so he can't he's like slowly could chew the gag well he's, he's reaching toward it with his hand and then okay. you're gonna make your strength check to try to like you got a 12 okay he's gonna make a strength check too he got a 14 Fuck. he manages to like remove your your hands everybody roll initiative 16 2 plus 1 3 4 episodes in a row guys <laughs> this will be a fast one we're just no, no, I believe it. we're just pushing him in 9 I got a 3 Link it is your turn first I would like to Ty, I'm going to take one of the, like, a apron or a fucking, you know, whatever, a kitchen rag, and I'm going to tie it around his head to make a gag from the tomato. Okay. Give me a sleight of hand or a strength check. 18 plus 3, 21. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, so you dexterously <laughs> tie a greasy rag around his mouth, <laughs> and it pushes the tomato deeper into his throat, and he can't just spit it out now. <laughs> Basically, if he wants to get rid of that if thing, he's going to have to spit out, his That's an airway drink. block. That's a full airway block. Oh, he's got his nose. He's got his nose. Okay, so that was your action. That's cool. So he's going to spend. So he was next. So he's next. He can either spend his entire turn to try to take the gag off and yank out the tomato, or he can try to remove the bolt on the door. Or We're probably like grappling room. him, right? Well, you said no. you just tied okay. the thing. Yeah, 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 you're yeah, not grappling yeah. him. Yeah, not he's yeah. going to spend his entire turn trying to take the gag out of his mouth as he backs up towards the door not realizing that it's barricaded, so he, like, bumps up against it and won't fucking move. Can that be a strength check against me, though, since I am, like, I literally just tied it on him. I am there, like, tying it on him. Wouldn't it be kind of, like, it's not like I tied it on him and then just, like, put my hands up and was like, ta-da! You know what I mean? (laughs) Okay, sure. Like, just in terms of, like, what the mechanic is. Mechanicus. Adeptus Mechanicus. God damn it. From the Fortress of Mars. I did do that. I tied it, I went, ta-da! And I got a three. (laughs) You got a three? I got three. Okay, so he got a seven. So he backs up to the door, and he removes the gag and spits at the tomato. And he goes, help us find some more ingredients. <laughs> <laughs> and now it is Scary's turn. Okay, I'm going to... Hermie better be primed and ready to go. Hermie needs to be <laughs> him instantly. I'm going to cast Eldritch Blast. <laughs> <laughs> Great. My cantrip. Great. And I'm going to try to aim it so that he goes into the oven. <laughs> 
his back is to the door of the kitchen, which is on the opposite side of the kitchen from the oven. If oh, you want to try mind. to like move him there, you'll have to do it physically or whatever. But if you just want to kid it with an Eldritch Blast, that's also totally fine. I'll do Eldritch Blasts in his head, but in a non-TBI sort of way. Just a, a polite concussion. <laughs> just a nice little movie knockout. Not at actual consequences. <laughs> having we'll we'll determine how non-lethal it is based on how much damage you do. Okay. <laughs> Because I know how much HP he has, and I know how much, if you go over, it will not be non-lethal. He's definitely injured from last combat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Risky Click didn't have a chance at short rest either, dude. <laughs> no, he, he was didn't. fucking answering phones. He's always okay. grinding. So I got a 14. Did you add anything to it, or you just rolled a straight 14? I'm going to add 4 to it. All right, so you rolled an 18. Yeah. So yeah, you got an 18, so that definitely hits him. Big money, big money. D10. That's a 9. His head exploded. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh my god, scary! What the fuck? I quit! Everybody who was grappling him, his fucking chunks of what used to be risky, like just oh fucking god. slap oh. you in the face. You're covered yeah, in it. Spicy marinara. Yeah, I mean, there's no way we're getting our break after this. No, okay, uh, okay, well, let's just, uh, uh, uh him up uh, on the toilet. Right, him up I, on the I toilet. should start handing everyone syringes and normal just stabs himself. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I stop. I try to stop him. No, no, you, you're gonna you, forget the plan. You be oh. present. You be present. You learn from this. <laughs> You learned from this normal. <laughs> okay. All right. I mean, he was basically enslaving us, right? So, like, yeah. that's bad. He yeah. was not a good guy. Yeah. He wasn't a good guy. He was the manager. Ew. Yeah. Taylor is, like, carefully propping him up on the toilet so that, like, from oh, beneath you God. see his feet. And it's like, <laughs> I do feel weird about pulling his pants down. I'll just I'll just kind of bunch up the cloth here a little bit around his ankles. Close the door and you put a sign up that says, Do, do not, not go, go in, in there. there. <laughs> so we, just, we print up, we go online, we find that meme. <laughs> we post that picture. I think Hermie just does that to yeah. the people in the cafeteria. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hermie comes out. That's Hermie's introduction. Yeah. Hermie comes out and he goes, hey, everyone, I'm about to micturate. Do not go in there. Woo. And he closes the door behind him and he sees the corpse of the person <laughs> that he was training to be. And he sort of like looks at it with a, a curious eye. And then he dips a finger into <gasps> the blood of his neck and he just puts it beneath both of his eyes. And he goes. I'm ready. Oh my oh God. God. <laughs> Order up. Enter the calzones, boys and lady. <laughs> and then we grab Lock and Sparrow. So we just have yeah, a montage so, uh, of Norm us emerges pale, trembling, <laughs> flop sweat, and goes to find Lark and Sparrow. Lark and Sparrow are working the uh, cash registers as usual. You see in the back of Sparrow's waistband, he's got the syringe Lark told you about that, like, you're supposed to use that on him when you're mm -hmm. ready to talk with him. And both of them are just taking orders and stuff. Orders, by the way, have backed up so hard. Yeah, like, what's going on? We heard they were singing for more ingredients. The first thing they forget is how long they've been in line, though. So yeah. really yeah. uh, hello, gentlemen, uh, a fellow uh, Papa John's employee here. Uh, I need two of you to help us with a special order in the pack. A special order, of course. And they both follow you in. Okay, boys, get in the calzones. What? I need you to both be real big, brave boys right now and get into these giant calzones, okay? Ew. I mean, can you do that? They look for at me, each though? other and they're both. Ew. I don't. Ew. Ew. But can you can you do it though? Can you please get in the calzone, please? Ah, it's hot. Oh, for Pete's sake, and I grab the uh, syringe that Sparrow has hidden behind him, and I boop him with it. Oh wow. Okay. His pupils dilate, and he looks around and immediately pulls you into a big hug. Oh. Hi, Dad. Hey, it's me. It's normal. Uh, lots going on. We need you to get in this calzone. I'm sorry. I said I wasn't proud of you. Oh, I. Oh, for real? Hey, make sure that's the right one. Are you one. sorry you said it or you don't believe it? <laughs> I'm sorry I said it. Oh, well, let's get into the calzone so I can rescue you from the dumb situation you got yourself in. And we'll talk about it. Well, you know what? We'll talk about it later. Okay, Dad? Well, this is going to wear off at some point. But yeah, we can talk about it later. Yeah, it's fine. We'll talk about it later. You two are small enough. You can probably fit in one calzone if you want to talk to your dad on the trip. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, how about it, Spore? You want to you slide inside a calzone with your dad? Your old are you man. Too old? All right, just get in the calzone. <laughs> too old to share a calzone with your pop-up? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Normal and Sparrow get into a calzone together. Aw. Sparrow looks at Lark and he goes, hey, Lark, I bet I can fit inside one of these calzones better than you. And Lark goes, no, you can't. Lark runs into one of the calzones and just like rips it open with his hands. He's, Ow, it's hot. Ah, I don't care. I'm fine though. I don't feel the pain. I don't feel the pain. I'm strong boy. And he gets inside and like, fucking, you just see him like pull the flaps close. <laughs> the like, he pulls the flaps close and then you see the dough like do that little like twisty pattern. <laughs> 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 These calzones look like they've been folded from the inside. <laughs> <laughs> 
How did you do that? You're amazing. Columbo, Columbo staring at it. Just, Just one, one more thing. thing. <laughs> you know, it's funny. My wife makes calzones. She says you have to fold them from the outside. But so yes, everyone is within their calzone. And I right assume. before yeah. my calzone gets zipped up, my hand goes up and dings the order bell. Hermes like I could have yeah, done Hermes. that, but. <laughs> All right. He goes, okay, we're boxing oh, you wait, up. Before I get into my calzone with my dad, I go up to Hermie and I'm like, Hermie, I'm, I'm like pretty nervous about talking to my dad. Like, do you have any like advice? Like you seem really wise and like, you know what you're doing and like, you're really confident and like, I'm really nervous about talking to my dad about like this stuff. And like, should I just not talk about it? Should I just pretend every, like, how do I pretend everything's fine? Like you're good at pretending stuff. Don't pretend anything's fine, Norm. Yeah, so, nothing's yeah. fine. Everything's fucked up. That's right. I said it. The F word. <laughs> wow. This I is mean... coming from a Kelzo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just like bouncing up it's and bouncing down. a little bit, so you know that's the one talking. And like I was gonna really hear it. It's just yeah. like. <laughs> but it's scary. I don't know. Like I love my dad, and if I yell at him, like I feel like I'm never gonna stop yelling at him, and I don't want to hate him, but I'm well, mad at him. Take it as a woman. Sometimes you have more power by not yelling. Just a firm glare and a harsh word. What am I saying? I have no power, no matter what. You're very oh. powerful, scary. I just want you to know that. And I say I, that. Yeah, like you giving blew a friendly, that guy's head up. Yeah, yeah you blew, blew a guy's head up. Oh, God, she did. Oh. I shake my box. I'm like, hey, I'm in, I'm in this cow zone <laughs> over here, buddy. Here, come on. I want to tell you something. I, I lean in. <laughs> hey, look, man. I offered that you guys could go in the same calzone because I find sometimes with my dad's you just gotta you just gotta sit down and talk and it's gonna really force you to just you know work it out. It's not gonna be pleasant in that calzone. I mean, one you're in a calzone, but two it's just <laughs> it's gonna be a tough talk. But just like you know, get it out. You know, talk to him. You, you we're gonna be in there for a long time. So just you know, <sighs> okay. see your feelings. Don't leave anything on the table. Otherwise, it gets old and gross. But what like, if I say something that hurts his feelings and he hates me? He's already not proud of me. Like I don't want him to hate me. Dude, never, how could it get worse, man? He'll never. Hate that's what you. the redemption arc is for. Okay, yeah, he'll never hate you. You know what? If he hates you, that's on him, man. Man, he's your dad. That's his job. So just, just tell him how you feel. <sighs> okay. You got this, Norm. And make an air hole, like in the yeah, for yourself too. Yeah, so you can too. breathe. And can you guys up. breathe? Are you okay? Yeah, I got no, a I can't really breathe, but it's pretty cool. I stick my finger like through, so you see a little finger come out. I give you a little wave with the one finger too. Thanks, Good man. Good luck in there. It's scary. This is for you. And I poke my finger in to give her an air hole as well. So you can breathe. You I know? stick my middle finger out too. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay, thanks for the pep talk, everybody. And I crawl into the calzone with my dad. So Hermie goes, okay, fuck me then. <laughs> oh, wait, no, I'm Hermie. No, it's you? fine. I toss my coin and he shows you the coin. You can see that on one end of the coin is a crude scratching of Hermie's face. On the other end is like the drama mask. Mm -hmm. And he flipped it and it came up Hermie face. He's like, I was going to give you some advice from Hermie's heart, but that's fine. Oh. I lean in, I lean in and go, hey, leave. I didn't even know there was a Hermie here. Because somebody is such a good actor. <laughs> Are you... <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck do you think you're talking to right now? Do oh, I'm think, sorry, sir. Do you think I need your pandering? Absolutely do you think not. I need the reviews? The glass door yeah. reviews that you're trying to offer me right I, now? You know, glass door reviews for acting. <laughs> if we were going to review you, Hermie, I'd say you're you're real great. And I, I'm sorry I didn't get your advice. It sounds like it would have been really, no, really it's something. Great. No, it's, it's totally cool to ask for advice, then not take it <laughs> as you're leaving me behind to die in oh this plan. Hermie. So, no, you know what? No, zip. And he just <sighs> go ahead and he closes the cardboard well, I box. I had a, my fist was out for a fist pound from Hermie, my homie. I'm like, good job, bro. And he fist pounds. He goes, thanks, bro. That's why you're my favorite. Yep. So far. Uh, yeah, hey, don't worry it. about it, man. It's pretty whack of him to fucking he volunteer. And now he's complaining. Like, yeah, it's also cool. pretty whack of him to say. I can hear all of this. Hermie, oh, I'll come ding, back ding, for ding, you. Ding, 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 <laughs> ding, ding, ding. And then I get into the cow zone. Okay, Thanks, so you are enmeshed in warm <laughs> cheese and pizza sauce. It feels not unsafe. <laughs> it feels not unlike the womb. The, the womb. womb. The womb. And you hear the, the uh, heavy steps the of Wumusi. <laughs> the Wumusi. The Pazissi Wumusi. I have returned to the Wumusi. Deep inside your Pazissi, you hear three <laughs> sets of footprints approaching. And you hear a voice that sounds identical to Risky Clicks saying, There you are. There are seven very large calzones. Hurry up. This is an important client at the Empire Center. And Dorito DeVue says, who the fuck do you think you are to talk to me that way? And you hear footsteps get closer. He goes, I'm the shift manager. And this is my shift. <laughs> and you just hear them staring at each other. <laughs> <laughs> and then DeVito goes, well, let me check him out. And each of you in turn see some light begin to... <laughs> And you can see uh, the silhouette through the fleshy, doughy <laughs> exterior <laughs> of your cocoon. You can see him like looking at you, drawing a finger across you see the his skin. Nose, like, yeah. in front of the air hole, just sniff, like, sniff, sniff. And he is going to roll to see if he believes 
that these are uh, truly calzones or not. And we got a 17, right? You have to at least match or beat a 17. <laughs> I in in the calzone, like in the calzone, Scary is slowly sliding the knife out. <laughs> nice. I haven't jerked off in a good seventeen hours. So you got a seven. You got a seven. Oh! Yes. Nice. So he goes, "How did you get the folding to happen inside? <laughs> How did you do it? These are the most beautiful calzones I've ever fucking seen. <sighs> Let's go, calzones. The, the, cal the calzone carbuncles help him pick him up, and you hear for the first time the sound of the garage door opening." And you hear the purr of the engine of the pussy wagon. <laughs> you feel yourselves Love get it. lifted up and placed down in the back of the pussy wagon, which is like vibrating beneath you, which is even more soothing now. It's warm and soothing. <laughs> Normal falls asleep. Yeah, <laughs> falls, falls asleep too. <laughs> and you hear the car start. <laughs> and then, <laughs> God damn it. And then uh, you start moving. Uh, hey, hey, Dad. So here I am. So you're not in your... In your suit. Yeah, I had, I lost it a while ago. You know, I, I've been rethinking all that lately. Oh, is it because of what I said? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, you know, I I mean, I guess I kind of always knew you didn't, you know, I knew you loved me, but I never really got the vibe that you or mom, like, liked me that much, so. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> okay. I, I do, no, I love you, and I, I just, I'm worried about you. That's the thing, is I'm what, really what worried. What are you worried about me for? Your uncle and I didn't, get to be kids for very long we had a very yeah, unusual I read, I read about that yeah I, it seems right. like you guys yeah pretty pretty crazy yeah and when i look at you and i see you making a lot of the decisions that you make i see somebody who's also maybe a little destined to not have a normal childhood and i never wanted that for you i, I, I kind of got that from the way you named me growing up yeah it felt like i was maybe too on the nose and i, I was tempting fate with that one but uh I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you should just do whatever makes you happy. And but I don't know. You were so obsessed. Even when you were in kindergarten, you fell on your face once and all the kids laughed and you didn't know they were laughing at you. So every time you came into class, you'd fall on your face again. Well, well you mean the word laughing? with that was funny. Uh, yeah. So there's laughing with and laughing at. You're such a sweet boy. You've never laughed at anybody. You've never had a mean spirited bone in your body. And that scares the shit out of me because this world is mean. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I get all that, Dad. I, I understand, but, like, I'm happy. I just like being who I am. I just wish you were proud of me. Like, if you want to talk about, like, what doesn't feel normal, it's that my dad thinks I'm stupid for being the way I am. That sucks. Yeah, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. Maybe that's just the way you are, and I appreciate that, you know, I can see, you know, why it would be important for you that I be happy and that I'd be, you know, that you had this weird, you know, crazy childhood with Grandpa Henry and, and Grandma Mercedes and you and Lark. And it was seemed like it was really hard. And I'm sorry that it's like that. But to be honest, I'm also like, I don't feel normal now. I felt normal to all this shit happened that you did that I'm dealing with. That's yeah, that's the thing I was the most afraid of more so than than you not having, you know, a friend or somebody to date or just because people were laughing at you, I was way more scared that you'd be involved in all this. And the fact that you are, that you're having to deal with the things that Lark and I started, and he starts to like, <laughs> for some reason you feel the pizza around you getting a little saltier <laughs> as, as some of his tears begin to leak into the cheese and the tomato Dad, sauce. Dad, are you crying? No. I, I turn around to face him. He's crying. It's my fault. Like everything you're going through right now, it's my and Lark's fault. And I'm sorry. I was trying to make a better world for you. We were all trying to make a better world for you. That's all any of us wanted to do. Grant and Terry Jr. and all those people. And we fucked it up. And I'm sorry that you have to be in this situation. And you're, you're right. I'm the last person in the world who should be able to judge you for anything, given all the things that I have done. Normal just starts crying and hugs him. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm, I'm just, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I was mean to you. And I'm sorry that you're not proud of me. And I'm sorry that everything screwed up. And I, you don't want it to be like this, you know? And I don't want it to be like this, but it is like this, right? If I did what you and Lark did, I would feel terrible about it. And I know you probably feel terrible about it, too. So let's just, you know, let's just go forward from here, okay? Why don't we just figure it out together, okay? Yeah, yeah, that sounds, uh, that sounds good. And I'm glad that you feel okay with what Lark and I did, because I, I, I think to kill the doodler, we're all going to have to do it again. What? All our days whisked away, but is there something more to say? You know that no one knows us better than ourselves. Used to tell myself it'll be alright. Pretty lies, let me sleep at night. I know that no one knows me better than myself. And 
Dungeons and Daddies is Matt Arnold as Lincoln Lee Wilson. Anthony Birch is our DM. Will Campos as Normal Oak. Beth May is Gary Marlowe. And myself, Freddie Wong, is Taylor Swift. Our theme song is On My Way by Maxton Waller. Brian Fernandez is our content producer. Ashley Nicolette is our community manager. Esther Ellis is our lead editor. Travis Reeves provides additional editing. And Robin Rapp is our transcriber. Special thanks this week to Josh X Mayhem and Billy Ziegler for submitting names we use in this episode and also the previous episode. These two cool cats are Patreon supporters. Objectively, the coolest people on the internet. These are people with names like TJ Mitchell. Ryan Runquist, Michaela Schreiber, Ricardo Ramirez, Cross, Jenna E. Agricola, Dustin Hammond, Johnny E., Is, Lolan, Alex Smith, Tony Spumoni, Rick Ulrich, Kat Contreras, Vincent Colovin, King Gingy, Liz T., Axel Wirtz, Paul Svalde, and Garrett Creech. You can directly support the show as well and get ad-free episodes at patreon.com slash dungeons and dads starting at just $5 a month. There's a lot of extra bonus content for you in all multimedia formats. I'm talking about live shows, one-shot campaigns, behind-the-scenes conversations, too saucy for the main feed, all that and more at patreon.com slash dungeons and dads. Check it out and see if any of that tickles your fancy. Speaking of bonus content, we've just put up all three parts of Sons and Sons Ability on our store for a digital download. For those of you who don't want to be Patreon supporters but still want some bonus content, listen, I get it. Sometimes I go a la carte. There's no shame in that. You should know, though, that patrons get all of our stretch goals like Sons and Sons Ability for free just for signing up. But if you just want Sons and Sons Ability, I get it. You can get that now on our store at store.dungeonsanddaddies.com. Finally, we're putting episodes of the show up on YouTube as well. Season 1 is already up. I'm just starting on Season 2 because it's a video. It requires some processing. New episodes will always be available on the podcast feed first. And, uh, of course, you can get episodes ad-free on Patreon. Uh, if you're interested, that's how you listen to podcasts. YouTube.com slash Dungeon Dads. Our website is DungeonsAndDaddies.com. Our Twitter is Dungeons and Dads. Our subreddit is Dungeons and Daddies. Our next episode comes at you September 20th, Tuesdays. Every other Tuesday, remember. We'll see you then. He is going to turn and kick at the broom that has been wedged in front of the door, and he's going to try to break that broom. <laughs> Good luck as a metal broom. <laughs> <laughs> if I had, at any point in my life, half the confidence that Matt did when he said, that's a metal broom, I would be a millionaire. <laughs>